Let's start with a little review from a previous lesson. Here we have the two equations that we will use with regard to spherical mirrors. The variables are defined here, their sign conventions are given. In particular, you'll want to remember that focal lengths have positive values for concave mirrors and negative values for convex mirrors. We can also remember that the object distance is symbolized in our equation by P. The image distance is symbolized by a Q. And there's a little p in the word object and a little q in the word image if you manipulate a certain letter carefully. We also want to remember that inverted images are always real images and upright images are always virtual. IR and UV. That's a nice mnemonic to help you remember that. Let's do another example. Here we have a concave mirror with a focal length of magnitude 36 centimeters. Now because we have a concave mirror, by convention, focal lengths are positive. So that's going to be positive 36 centimeters. The object height is 18 centimeters. That's the variable h. And we're told that the object is 8 centimeters from the mirror. That's telling us the object distance, 8. We need to describe this image. So we're going to use this magnification equation, which in an earlier lesson I went from that magnification equation to solving it for the image distance. So I'm not going to redo that again. I trust you're able to do that. When we put the numbers in, and make sure that you know how to type this into your calculator, we're going to get a Q, that is an image distance, of negative 10.3 centimeters. That negative sign in Q tells us that we have a virtual image. Of course, all virtual images are upright, so we can describe the image as being virtual and upright so far. If we then use the magnification equation, and again, we can be selective about our use of the magnification equation. I'm just going to use the expression on the right here, opposite Q over P. Notice that Q is already negative, so when we take opposite of Q, that numerator ends up being positive. The magnification being larger than 1 tells us that our image is larger than our object is. And in this class, with regard to mirrors, all virtual images are on the right and all objects are on the left. So for mirrors, virtual images are on the right and real images will be on the left. Anytime you have a concave mirror with the object in front of F, which is what we have here, that's true love there, larger, upright, virtual. Let's go ahead and draw out that previous problem. Here it is. We know that we should get a larger, upright, virtual image if we go parallel to the principal axis and reflect through the focal point, then line up with the focal point and when we hit the mirror bounce back parallel, those reflected rays do not intersect, so we need to project the reflected rays behind the mirror, and there's our image, larger, upright, virtual. Anytime you have an object that's in front of the focal point, you're going to get a larger, upright, virtual image. And those are the numbers that we can calculate using our equations. Let's do one more. A concave mirror has a focal length of magnitude 30 centimeters, so F is positive 30. The object, which has a height of 10 centimeters, is at the mirror's focal point. Well, that means that P is also equal to 30. Describe the image. Just like we did before, if we solve the mirror equation for the image distance Q, you can see what happens in the denominator that term goes to zero, which means the image is at infinity. Or as I would say it, there's no image. So if we have an object that's at the focal point, well number one says go parallel to the principal axis, then bounce back through the focal point. Rule number two falls away. 
Rule number three says line up the top of the object with the center of curvature, head towards the mirror, and when you hit the mirror, go back along that line. You can see that there will be no image in this case. You must know the sign conventions for focal length in order to solve mirror problems. Concave mirrors, which is what we dealt with in this lesson, have positive focal lengths and positive radii of curvature. In using the mirror equation, be sure to solve for variables carefully. Under no circumstance should you begin by writing p plus q equals f because that is wrong. Also, be careful not to overlook or lose track of negative signs. There's an extra one in the magnification equation and double negatives crop up every so often.